Are you ever frustrated when you're sitting at a traffic light that just won't change? Welcome to Miss Hood's School Bus Life. Well, I have a traffic tip for you that not very many people know about. See this white line? That white line has a chip underneath it on the asphalt. See that blue car right there? That car has rolled over the white line in the road, so they're not going to trip the traffic light. This traffic light is a really tough place to get out of. It takes a long time for that traffic light to turn green. And what people need to know is this white line is really important, especially over in that left-hand lane. They created these big white lines so that when you pull your car up, it'll trigger the light to change. Your car will bring a shadow over that white line, and when it's shadowed, it triggers the light to turn green. This is the perfect example for me to show you. When you drive your tires over that big white line right there, you have driven over that little chip in the road. If you don't drive your bumper right up to the bottom of that line, you will not trip that traffic light and it will not turn green. It's just really important when you're pulling up here that you know what that big white line is for it's to trip the traffic light for you. They're gonna make you trip that light. And if you don't know how, you'll sit here for a very long time. Let's see if somebody else does it right. That's not too bad because that bumper is causing a shadow on that white line that will trigger that light to change. But if you wanna make the light change, you don't wanna cover it that white line. You just want to bring your bumper right up to it. The shadow will trigger that chip in the ground and it'll change that light to green for you. Look at him. He drove right over it. Did not pay any attention to that white line in the road. See how far back he is? He's almost half a car length away from that white line. But it is amazing to me how many people will not pay any attention to that white line in the road. I'm going to take you to a different intersection where school buses have to make a very difficult turn. You see a white line here and then a white line up there. What about two white lines at an intersection that are in different places? It's because there are trucks, buses have to come this way. What does that mean? If you're driving a big yellow bus or if you're driving a truck, you don't have any room at all to get around that corner. So if you're one of those parents and you go to this elementary school over here and you're passing that white line and pulling up to the other white line, you're making it very difficult for the buses to get around this curve. A lot of people pull all the way up to the end of the yellow lines and it makes the car impossible to get your bus turned and do this safely, especially when you have a bus full of children. Did you know about that big white line in the road? This is just one of Miss Hood's bus driver tips. It's very frustrating in my school bus life when people ignore these big white lines. Hopefully, you'll share this video with your driver friends and help make a day in Miss Hood's school bus life just a little bit better. Drive safe, everybody.